Kemper Girls Distance Medley here at the State Track Meet competing in Class 2A today. Let's start off with that opening leg in Maddie Wendell. And Maddie, how did you feel like things went today? Well, our time was six seconds faster, and I was just worried about getting out of the blocks to make sure I wouldn't fall start, and I didn't. I was actually more relaxed than I thought I'd be. And I just had to worry about my handoff with Katie, and she ran a good two. Claire cut off a few seconds for her four, and Katie ran a really good 800 and pushed it for her anchor, so I thought it went well. You said you were not as nervous as you thought you might be. How did you get rid of those nerves? Oh, well, just when I got up there, I just started jumping around and doing my normal routine, and I got down, and I just I wasn't shaking anymore. But when we were lining up, that's when the nerves kicked in, and I was just worried about things that could go wrong. Talk about your start. How well did you get out of the blocks today? I thought I went like fast as usual. I ran like a 200, maybe a little faster than the adrenaline. Then I got out low and fast, and I just didn't want anyone to catch me while I was running. When did you feel like you kind of got, you know, really in good form out there on the track? Uh, probably on the beginning of the curve and like towards the end of it, and then that last. Like Out in front, away, that is MOC Floyd like Valley and Alexis Conway. I thought it went well. Three Talk about your handoff with Katie. Champion, um, it could have been better, champion, but it was still, it was still a good handoff. Second. We didn't cut off or High add any to seconds to our time. Title. I thought it went well. Well, Maddie, congratulations on getting down here. Great job today. Thank you. Yeah. Maddie Wendell again. Let's get Katie Tegas to jump in here real good. This afternoon. And Katie now joining us. Katie, I know you love the so, uh, second leg of that uh, distance medley today. Maddie said you guys had a good handoff. How did you feel after the handoff? Uh, I felt like I came out strong. I mean, it wasn't my best run. I felt like, but it was a 200 like normal. So. What's a normal 200 for you then? I mean, just got to give it all you got. Usually, Maddie and I would have a good handoff. So coming out today with a good handoff, that was a good confidence. You're usually stronger in that first 100 or the second 100. Probably the first 100. I really like coming around that curve. It's probably my favorite. So. Why is that? Do you know? Uh, I like being able to get on the inside part of the lane and really round in that corner hard. How'd you feel coming down the straightaway today? Oh, pretty good. I mean, not my best, but I knew I just had to finish, hopefully, to get clear off the Weymeyer, good start. You guys beat your record by six seconds second today. What's that feel like? I mean, that's all you can ask. Come in and get a personal best. That's awesome. So, I mean, we probably end up about 10, probably not how exactly we wanted Weymeyer, to, but and she has couldn't in do any better. Well, Katie, appreciate you joining us here today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Metal Let's get that Claire for Ludwig to jump in here now. And Claire, how did you feel today? Um, I felt pretty good. Uh, my goal in here was to come and run my best 400 I have yet, with this being my last 400. And I think I did good. I knew what girls ahead of me were running, so I, I tried to stick with them. So I'm, I haven't seen my split yet. Hopefully it's like a 60 MOC or 61. Floyd Valley. Paige, how did your handoff go with Katie? Um, me and Katie's handoff went good. Me and Paige well, just wasn't so good. But another I don't think it really had to too bad. It wasn't like the terrible field. one. Career here at on the wasn't Blue the Oval. Wasn't what was your strategy coming in on how you were going to handle that 400? I was going to start off faster. I don't usually start off very fast, and so I knew that's where I could gain some time. I really felt like I got out pretty good. How did you feel like maybe about the 200 mark? I'm um, good. I was still right in the pack, and so that's all I was trying to do. It seems like a shorter track here because there's so much going on, so it's a lot funner to run here than anywhere else. Did you make a move kind of down the straightaway, and how did you close out? Yeah, um, I just tried and catch all the girls. We were all, like, right in there, so I, nobody really was leading anyone. We were all just right in there, but I stuck with them, so that's... All I was trying to do. Yeah, Your last 400, can you talk about that? Uh, it's a good feeling, but a bad feeling. Like, I don't want to be done, Valley, but, I, but <laughs> it's good to be done with 400. It's because who likes those? <laughs> you mean you don't like sprinting that long? <laughs> no. <laughs> what makes you so good at them, though? Um, probably my endurance level. I feel like I can... Sprint for a while, but, so yeah, I, I didn't think I could do anything more, but Dallas I think it's just endurance level. Well, Claire, appreciate you joining us always. Thank, thank you very much. Yes, thank you so much. Let's today. move over now to Paige Overmull, and Paige still kind of exhausted from this Floyd today. Uh, all the girls talking about Floyd. how hard you ran today. Uh, talk about your part of the race if you can. Um, I knew in my heat that it was up to me to really get that time down, really chase people and try to get in that top eight so that's what I try to Our do. Our winner in this medley is going to come out of the time, second so. section. Davenport How were you able to do that? Did you get out quick? Um, Claire handed off the John like fourth or fifth. Careers. I chased down Emma a couple Bussier, people in that first of Davenport lap. Assumption and I got myself into second and kind of just tried to really push team. over and turn over in that last lap. Times so. state champion, Ashley Did Miller, you feel strong on that second lap? With eight. 
And Emma Bossier. I got passed a little at the end, the but I felt like I still had a, some left, enough left to finish the race, so I felt good at the end. Tip What's it like running in this heat compared to what you guys have run in really all year long? All year it's been pretty chilly, so this meet is period. very different. This weather is very different. Hard to get your body to get used to right in away. In the last three years. It's really beautiful. I'd rather run in this than cold weather. Outstanding stuff happening so. here on Well, Paige, I appreciate two. you joining us. As always, great job. You always give a terrific and effort. We, we appreciate you taking some time. Thank you. Paige Overmall again with the Cover Knights.